I teased the listeners oh. that we, when you got naughty, back. Naughty, naughty. When... <laughs> Not, that's not the right podcast. Um, <laughs> we, I teased that we would, when you got back from taking care of your business, mm. that we would talk a little bit about some nerd stuff. Oh, fun. Specifically something you would probably be interested in, uh, which we kind of established earlier in the podcast. Mm -hmm. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the trailer that came out. Black Panther. For Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Yeah. Um, Here, come come closer to the mic. Okay. Please. Okay. Um, I, I got to hear what I, you think about I this. I have to preface this with I started to watch it and then I got too emotional and started crying. <laughs> and then I turned it off and I haven't finished <laughs> it. <Okay. laughs> so we may have to give that a little peek -see. So I can actually. I yeah, heard, we can do that. Um, I heard that there is uh, some Mesoamerican. Uh, representation in there which i think is really cool oh yeah so the obviously black panther was a big hit when it came out mm -hmm. it was i love the film i've rewatched it recently and I, I love it even more than i did beforehand i love um, that movie so much it's really good man. i still regularly listen to the soundtrack because mm -hmm. i also am obsessed with kendrick so, oh yeah and yes. it was brilliant bringing kendrick into that yes. film i mean the music is impeccable uh, Dude, know. the vibes are just immaculate, man. Yeah. I, I play the soundtrack at work sometimes because you have the, the PA and everything. So I get to, you know, choose the music and everything. Nice. And, and I've played after the day after that trailer came out, I was like, okay. No. Today's a Kendrick Today day. Today is a Kendrick day. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Have you heard his new album? I've heard parts of it. I know there are aspects of it that are uh, a little controversial, um, but I haven't heard all of it. I mm -hmm. still have to. Uh, I read it, I, or I read, I heard a couple tracks, mm -hmm. and it's pretty, it's great. I love it so much. It's great. He's Kendrick. Yeah. He's Kendrick. Come on. You really can't go wrong with Kendrick in my book. No. But yeah, let let's me, take a peek -see. Let me show you the, uh, the trailer for a quick second. And this will be edited uh, uh, to correspond. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah see that song they started with no woman no cry i was like no this woman gonna cry <laughs> <laughs> i am crying <laughs> sorry you can't stop me shit <laughs> <laughs> don't stop it honestly uh, honestly if I, it's a good thing i didn't watch the trailer <laughs> because i w i've watched it a lot and every time i watch i I, I get emotional also because it's I think it is without a doubt one of the greatest trailers ever. I'm very put together. I'm very excited for it. It's just oh you gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my cry. I, I look, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um this phase of Marvel for me mm -hmm. has been a little bit underwhelming, you know? A few exceptions, like Spider-Man No Way Home, I thought was fantastic and everything. Mm -hmm. I really like some of the shows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's point. We're pointing at each other. <laughs> We're pointing. <laughs> like, honestly, that's that's the rare exception and everything. But mm -hmm. so far, the phase has kind of been a bit... I hate to use the word, but it's a little bit, a little mid. Yeah, it's a bit mid. A little mid. But oh. this trailer, this is the end of phase four. This looks fantastic. Yeah. What, what do you think? I think it's it looks really good. Um, I watched Miss Marvel and uh -huh. um, I thought it was fun. It know? was fun. It was cute, but it was what it was supposed to be. That's why I would say. Mm -hmm. But with a lack of good backbone mm -hmm. and good stuff around it, it's like if that's your high point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I wouldn't even consider that the high point of, of this phase. You know? I mean, I, I don't really. I'm just saying that it, it was one of the things where I thought it was, like, I actually pretty genuinely enjoyed the entire bit. I liked um, Moon Knight. Yeah, I really liked Moon Knight, actually. I really liked Moon Knight. Yeah. I liked Miss Marvel. And then I liked... Um, I kind of... <sighs> I watched the Doctor Strange movie. Uh, yeah. And I saw it in theaters and I was like, I was so bored <laughs> the entire movie, except for that one scene where they were fighting with the music. And I was like, ooh! Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, uh. 
yeah. You know, the, this uh, trailer, this film, is obviously anticipated highly because what do you do, right? After the passing of Chadwick Boseman, yeah. how do you even approach this film? And I, yeah. from what I understand, they really changed it up because they had to. You yeah. Know, like, they, they probably planned for a sequel featuring, starring him. They didn't. But, well, the thing is, they knew he was sick um, mm-hmm. for the first one. Right. Well, he he yeah. got the diagnosis back in 2016 when mm-hmm. the Civil War movie came out. And that mm-hmm. was the first movie he appeared in. And he kept on going because he felt that he had that responsibility yeah. to keep going, which is commendable. You know, He was a awesome person and people gave him so much shit. Mm-hmm. And like, I feel like a lot of people, that's, that's like a... I guess we keep on coming back to the otherization thing where they don't think of people Mm -hmm. as people. They think of people as concepts. So anytime somebody leaves the concept of what that you had for them, then it's just like, oh, yeah, time to talk shit. Or they or they think of uh, people, especially people who are in the public eye or in Mm -hmm. films as uh, walking commodities. Yeah. You know, like, hey. I'm the guy who's paying for your career, essentially. Mm-hmm. I get to say whatever the fuck I want. about yeah, And you, you can say whatever you want, but mm-hmm. I remember, especially near the end of his life, when he posted, he had a video mm-hmm. of himself. He posted a video on Jackie Robinson Day because he played Jackie Robinson. Mm-hmm. And he was talking about the day, the holiday and everything. And he looked very different. He looked mm-hmm. visibly... Emaciated. Uh, really, yeah. I, yeah. I had no idea what was going on. And I remember the you know people were talking about him and everything. It was like, this is kind of tasteless. Like, I don't know. Yeah. We don't know what's going on. And then a couple months later, yeah, you know, what happened happened. Um, Honestly, I thought he was preparing for a role. And so, I was just like, yeah. I was just like, you know, it doesn't, this isn't right. You know, actors like turn gone like this all the time because they're doing something for their craft. So you doing this shit is fucking rude. Right. And, Especially and that takes, you don't know what's going on. And Yeah, and even actors who do that, it takes a lot from their body. Like, it takes years off their life yeah. to do that. So I just assumed, like you, that he was doing that for a role. Mm-hmm. But then I find out, he, yeah. I mean, colon cancer is fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. And, the you know, there there's the question of how do you approach Black Panther in mm-hmm. this effort? To, do you recast... Do you... I'm uh, glad they didn't decide not to recast because I feel like yeah. that would be in poor taste. Me too. Me too. I, I think because a lot of people wanted a recast of the character, which I didn't, you know, and I, I love that in this, it, it, the whole idea of this trailer is about honoring his memory. Mm-hmm. From what I understand, the character is dead in, mm-hmm. the, in like, and he's, he's gone. Like, and I don't know how he went. I don't know if they're going to utilize what really happened to Chadwick Boseman in this film. Like, did... T'Challa get cancer also and everything. Um, I have a feeling, especially based off this trailer, that they're going to approach it in a very tasteful manner. Yeah. Because these are people who loved him and knew him. You know? Yeah. And I feel like the thing that comes through in that trailer, like, sure, there's, like, the stuff with the Mesoamerican um, culture Mm -hmm. and all of that. But what you can tell is at the core of the story is grief. Yeah. That line... Um, from Angela Bassett talking about everybody. I am the queen of a country and everybody. I've lost everything. I've lost everyone. Yeah, you know, like. Oh, man. That's just fucking raw, yeah. my dude. Yeah. Like, I already. See, there are some times when Disney has a fucking chokehold on my neck. <laughs> and I feel like this is going to be one of them. And last time, I wasn't expecting it. This time, I'm going to go into the theater with nothing on my face because Encanto got me Mm -hmm. I was sobbing and this I just started tearing up from the trailer so there's no fucking way (laughs) (laughs) I don't don't even know if I want to go see it in person because I'm I'm getting emotional (laughs) you know it could honestly be I predict the screening especially if the movie is really good Mm -hmm. I predict it being very cathartic for people Yeah, you know because it was a really it, it was sad what happened with Chadwick Boseman and everything. And you know, I'm glad he wasn't recasted like a lot of people wanted. Um, because because a lot of people were arguing that it would be disrespectful to not continue the character. So, 
Yeah, I, I don't think you're going to win either way. Because uh, there are people who saw this trailer were mad that they didn't recast. Have, yeah. You know? The thing is, um, knowing Disney, um, the option of recasting wasn't probably going to happen. They were probably either going to remove them, period, or do that creepy... Uh, oh, the CGI thing? CGI thing. No, no. And, and the CGI thing would have been just... Yeah, it would have been bad. in poor taste for sure, man. Yeah, so I, I honestly am just glad that they went in the direction that they went. And um, he was like, from my understanding of him and like the stuff that he said in the public eye, was a really good person. And I think that, you know, this is one of the movies where I get behind why it was made. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some of these Marvel movies feel like a cash grab. Right. Like the reason why they're telling this story isn't, it's because people like this character or, um, like, I guess I think a lot about, we were talking about this the other day with Mm -hmm. like, uh, WandaVision. Right. Why a story is being told and Mm -hmm. what does this story say in our context of our, like, society Mm -hmm. and i think that um that movie the new black panther movie it's talking about things um from what i can tell about grief and that's something that's like real and important to talk about yeah and i feel like a lot of people don't have a approachable way to go through the process of grief like mm-hmm. there it's like since it's a sad topic a lot of people shy away from it like the only movie i can think of off the top of my head is uh big fish oh yeah i love big fish big fish is like a great movie I th- because yeah i think it's his best tim burton's best yeah film. tim burton yeah. yeah um because it talks about grief and talks about i mean personally for me I can relate to it because my dad can't say a look at the truth either. <laughs> so, right. like, that process of grief and grieving is, like, very... But that one's very personal. Yeah. I, I don't know what they're going to do, but I get the feeling that it's going to be uh, important. And also, it seems like there's an element of, like, the cyclical nature of life. And I think... Also, one thing I really appreciated is that they didn't put the... Uh, grievers in black in in black yeah so that's a little detail that oh i see that's right yeah at the beginning the funeral yes shots yeah it's all in white yeah yeah so in uh africa um west africa um people wear white Mm -hmm. for mourning they don't wear black for mourning and certain little details like that are very important for representing a culture that is completely devoid of western you know mentalities because a yeah. lot of uh a, a, another part of from my understanding of west african mourning is that it's more about appreciating the life that was lost and appreciating that person's life versus being sad and mourning the loss of that person yeah it's it's true their their passing is treated as a celebration yeah it's kind of similar to what uh, new orleans they have like parades when a person dies and everything Mm -hmm. and i feel like that's how the movie's gonna open and i think it's gonna be really just heart-wrenching you know it's like Mm -hmm. i'm not if that's the opening of the film I don't know how I'm going to get through the rest of the film. You know what I mean? I already know that I'm going to cry at least five times during this movie, and I've already accepted that about myself. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm i going to go into the movie with a tissue box. Cause yeah, they should provide them, honestly. Yeah, the just, just have it in the seat next to you. <laughs> Dude, I hate it when you don't come prepared for a movie that's sad. Like... <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming back to Encanto. Encanto <laughs> made me fucking ball, man. And yeah. everybody in the theater was bawling. And you don't go into a, a animated Disney movie. Okay, that's a lie. That's an absolute you, lie. <laughs> okay, you don't... Like, I did... I was... I came for singing and dancing and Lin Manuel Miranda. I did not come to sob my eyes out, you know? But I well, should have expected left, it. You were left with it. But the the thing is, you mentioned grief. I think it's oddly enough been a kind of a, a prevalent 
within these past couple Marvel films. Like yeah. the, the Spider-Man one dealt with it. Yeah. Uh, even though we kind of disagreed, uh, Doctor Strange and WandaVision yes. dealt with those elements. Yeah. And even uh, Black Widow isn't necessarily about grief, but mm-hmm. it's an it's a it's subtextual because the character died, and this is a previous adventure of her. Mm-hmm. Um, and now I think this is going to be the one to really cap it, and re- really hit it the hardest because mm-hmm. of the real life circumstances mm-hmm. involving the film. And I hope eventually by the end of the film it becomes about healing, mm-hmm. because. This is not something anyone was prepared for because no one knew until mm-hmm. it happened. Yeah. You know, and... Uh, what you yeah. know? Um, ooh, do you want to talk about our little our little tiff on, in terms of WandaVision? <laughs> uh, we can briefly bring it up. I mean, I don't... Or is think... it starting to get long? Well, I mean, it's, it's fine. Wait, okay. I don't think it's necessarily that we disagree on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you know. It's just like the, the little... The little minu- aspects. The little minutia. I said tiff <laughs> as a way to say it shortly and not an overly complicated explanation that I'm so good at. Please. I always do the overcomplicated shit and I was <laughs> trying to be simple, but no, you just had to disagree with me on the word tiff. <sighs> anyway. God damn it. Jesus, Julius. I'm uh, sorry, I had to do that alliteration. It was there, and we were already talking about Jesus. So. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, no, I, we, we can save the WandaVision talk for a, a later podcast. Okay, sounds good to me. Because this one has been going on for a bit. Yeah, but I was I, supposed to say, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a good time, I think. Yeah. I had a good time talking with you. I always have a good time talking with you, especially when it comes to the horrific aspects of my life of your life <laughs> yeah you know as long as somebody's having a good time about it yeah well i can't wait to listen to it uh <laughs> at work <laughs> oh no it's, it's gonna completely filter my day at work lovely um as long as you don't play it on the speakers because somebody who comes into that shop may actually know me that's that's actually a really great idea oh dear